for the Krusty Krab! Hey there everyone, my name is Kid, and welcome to more pit videos online with uh, Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Anyways, yeah, I have a lot to talk about here. Let's see, this is why I'm using a... Uh, why I'm using Pit because it's like a character that I can actually use, you know. Even though I'm still getting back here, it's it's still you know, it's still a it. I'm still having trouble. Yeah. Anyways, check it out. Did you hear? Nintendo just uh, I think it was like three days ago, two days ago, something like that. Just announced uh, the new Paper Mario. Uh, apparently, it's like a it's like an origami themed uh, <clears throat> adventure, and it actually looks pretty interesting. Um, uh, yeah, they just kind of announced it, like, right out of the bat. No direct, no trailer, no nothing. They just, uh, well, there was a trailer, but they didn't say anything about it. They just kind of dropped it, you know? It's coming in July, I think. Uh, I think it's July. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, new Paper Mario. I kind of, I, I don't know how to feel about it. Like, uh, because, uh, I've been meaning to do uh, a thousand year door for... For uh, YouTube, yeah, because uh, I didn't technically finish it. Wanna know why? Do you want to know why I never finished it? Okay, so watch this. Uh, literally, I was right. Up, uh, I was fighting the last boss, yeah, like the like the main uh, like the main antagonist, yeah. And uh, she switches to her second form. I mean, it, yeah, yeah, yeah it, 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 it's, it's an it. Anyways, it uh, switches to it. To its final form or second form and then the game crashes like every time I try to play it all that work and for nothing but yeah I haven't I mean, wanted to do that so <clears throat> I don't know what do you want to what do you, do you want to see the the origami one because I because uh, I'm most definitely gonna grab it for myself even if it is uh, even if I am going to play it for myself but uh yeah unless you know people really want to see it see it here but who knows who really knows anyways let's see next thing dragon quest 2 yeah um <clears throat> it will be that's gonna our, our next uh, game is going to be uh, dragon quest 2 however i kind of want to wait uh, just a little bit longer for uh to actually do it because you know we just finished we just finished the uh, indivisible like uh it just recently, I think it was like, <clears throat> I, I'm bad with numbers, but yeah, if, uh, I'm just saying, but if you still haven't tried Invisible, I highly recommend it. And even if you can't, I, you, you know, it, it's all, it's all right. It's all right. I'm not blaming you. Oh, look at that. Lingering hitbox of up smash. Palutino too broken. Anyways, uh, and Invisible is a really, is a really enjoyable experience. If uh, if you ever do get the chance, though, I, I highly recommend it. Just like uh, uh, Kid Icarus Uprising here, this is actually one of the battles uh, that takes place in in uh, what's it called Uprising, because you know uh, Smash already kind of uh, spoiled it, you know, because I think there's a what is it like a what is it called again? Uh, she has a specific name, like Palutena when she's in her, uh, double ganger form thing, like fake, you know? Anyways, uh, yeah, Dragon Quest 2. Apparently it's like the, like the hardest out of the Urdric trilogy, I, I hear. And it should take a, it should take a, <clears throat> should take a while to actually, uh, to actually finish it, so... Because of that, I'm actually going to wait a, just a just a little bit longer because uh or maybe I should. I do still have All right, so listen. I uh the the new slash old uh, Xenoblade is actually coming out on Switch uh fairly soon. I think it's in 2 weeks from from now, but uh it should be coming out the 29th. And I'm not good of a number, so I'm just going to come out to say that it's coming out soon. And uh, yeah, I've actually I actually do want to play for play it here, like uh, because for one, I'm doing it for for s not I'm not doing it for them, but I'm doing it because of them, you know. Anyways, there's somebody on 
There's a certain someone in in YouTube that that uh really likes uh, Xenoblade, and even and I know they don't watch my videos or not or whatnot, but it's because of them that I kind of want to play it. You know, I kind of want to play play Xenoblade for for y'all. Both uh, get a blind experience for for me and you, or maybe you you've already played like the the originals. You know, <clears throat> other than that, uh yeah, new Xenoblade is coming out. I do plan on doing uh, like all the Dragon Quest uh, series except for 10 because for whatever reason the Japanese don't think that we deserve to- OH LOOK AT THIS! Did you see that? Up air to up tilt to up B or up smash. Look at that, that was a little too much for Samus just gonna dip. Just dip, I couldn't handle it. Too many combos. Anyways, yeah. <coughs> uh, all the Dragon Quest games, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing them here because Man, I really love Dragon Quest. It's it's a uh, it's amazing. I wonder if uh, if I if it if uh if Eleven ever comes out on like on sale for the PC, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can do like a hard mode uh, run of that because man, I really like uh, Dragon Quest Eleven. And uh and uh, yeah, the hard mode is actually a lot a lot funner than I thought it would be. It really puts your, uh, like, strategies, uh, to the test. Even though I'm not exactly, like, good at strategies. When it comes to JRPGs. I mean, I am, but, like, well, you've seen seen me play it, yeah. I'm not the best at it. But, yeah. Dragon Ooh, that was cool! Anticipation of the, of the neutral B. Deflected. Let's go. Um... But yeah, the new Xenoblade is coming out, and I can't wait to actually, I can't wait to actually uh, play it because not only is it very pretty, but it but it actually looks really fun. It doesn't really look like the like the regular JRPGs you see all the all the time. It's more, uh, what would you say, free battle, free form battles. I like it's not turn based. It's actually like uh, it's actually action oriented, but only like when you're in battle. <coughs> Kind of like in Crisis Core or Final Fantasy, or the Final Fantasy remake. That one's free battle too. I actually did try to play, uh, and I do have it too. Uh, but I tried playing. What is it? Oh no. No, uh, no recovery. <clears throat> yeah, we're uh, listening to the Fire Emblem OST today, or right, just Fire Emblem in general. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I've been I've been trying to play. Uh, what is it? Final Fantasy 15, but I just can't get into it. It's just, it's just not me, you know. There's like all these things that you have to, to. Uh, I don't know. It's just weird to me. It, I'm not saying that I'm bad at like remembering things or anything. I am, but like, like not for games, you know. I got, I got very used to. What is it? Uh, octopus tra or octopath octopath traveler. I call it octopus traveler though, cause it's cause it's cute. Anyways, uh, yeah, Final Fantasy 15. It's just a bunch of button mashing for me. Yeah, this warrior was weird. <coughs> I think uh, I think he's just now or just barely starting to play warrior or 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 something. I'm not sure. It was really weird. He couldn't. Uh, he couldn't recover from his bike for some reason. Maybe he just didn't know it. I don't really know. Maybe he really is just his uh, very first time with Wario. I don't really know. Anyways. Yep, button mashing on Final Fantasy 6. Uh, what is it, 15? Yeah. Well, at least in my opinion, I, uh, I just don't like button mashing when it comes to combat. I mean, Bay Bayonetta kind of has it, but... But it, uh... You know, it requires you to be precise with your combos, because if you mess it up, it's going to be something else, you know? Let's see. Speaking of Bayonetta, there is a there is a game that I want to do for for this channel. Oh, I want to do for this channel, but uh, we won't get to it until Dragon Quest, until we do Dragon Quest 2. And uh, chances are I'm, I'm going to be doing it simultaneously with the... No, probably not. Because that, 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 that'll take too long. Remember what happened with uh, Code Vein and Dragon Ball? Yeah, that took forever to finish. Oh no. 
left it up. <laughs> Ugh, this is gross. I smell bad now. I require tomato juice. Is that real? Like, getting rid of stink with uh, tomato juice? I don't know. Anyways, uh... Hmm... I am rather curious. Oh yeah, look at this, look at this. D didn't that look kind of, uh... Didn't that look kind of depressing? You just like, oh crap. Yeah, might as well. You know? Just kind of flies off into the sunset over there. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe... Ah, oh, man, I don't know. Or maybe, you know what? I'll, I'll maybe do uh, this game before Dragon Quest 2. It can't be as long as Bayon... It can't be longer than Bayonetta, right? So it should only take, like, maybe a week to finish. I don't know. I'll think... I'll, I'll see... I'll see... I'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's see. Um... What else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, the drawing videos. What do you guys think about them? I'm having, I'm having fun with them because, like, you know, it's uh, I'm not uh having the trouble with actually. Go oh, he did it again. Oh, well, he jumped out of it this time. But but yeah, I'm having fun with the drawing videos because like it's I'm doing something that I kind of like, you know. Plus it's peaceful and it's kind of chill. Plus I also get to know just a little bit more of the of the people that I that I do. Like the next one is gonna be. Is gonna be someone who you may or may not be familiar with. I don't know. I say that ironically because I'm pretty sure everybody knows who it is. It's not Goku, I'll tell you that. But uh, hmm. yeah, having to learn about them and all that is, is actually kind of fun to me. Not to mention that it's relaxing, you know. It's relaxing. Plus, it's really interesting to see like drawing in in uh, Uzu caught him right off the bike. Oh. Uh, I tried going for the footstool. The footstool disrespect. But I'm not good at it for some reason. But yeah, drawing videos are really relaxing and kind of fascinating when they're like sped up for some reason. Don't you think? I think so. Oh, it looks like he panicked there for a second. It's it. Yeah, I'm actually going to be focusing more on Smash and, uh, and, uh, what's it called? The drawings because, uh, you know what I like best and Dragon Quest but you know Dragon Quest takes a while because they're, they're JRPGs and whatnot there's a lot of stuff that I want to go to uh, that I want to do but so little time maybe we'll start Dragon Quest tomorrow or the next or the next the other game I don't know what do you want to do I should probably stop asking questions uh, let's see oh yeah did a whole bunch of games got delayed because of the you know because of what's happening even the Jala, and it just oh look at this! I actually didn't think he would hold it for too long, so I so I you know rolled because he saw me waiting, so you know I, I thought I thought. But yeah, let's see. Ninjala got delayed, and I've been meaning to actually play that. But at the same time, it's a good thing because uh, Ninjala and Xenoblade were about to uh, release on the same on the same day, and good God, can you imagine how? How much of a- oh, 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 oh. Nice. He got ran over, but it, I served my purpose. What's up now? Yeah, I, mean, I, I was gonna try to do uh, some, some videos on Ninjala, because it's actually really fun from like the one match that I actually got got paired up with, you know? Did anybody actually get a chance to play Ninjala? Because I know a crap ton of people didn't... Uh, didn't actually get get past the what is it the uh, the title screen because just how apparently it was because it was overloaded like apparently not a lot of people almost everybody was like playing it you know so like not everybody got the chance you know so, and that's why it was so so uh like bad you know like the launch day was very bad. Or the event, I should say. Nice. This crown was doing a lot. So, I didn't, I felt uh, very, very scared. Uh, let's see. I actually thought this, uh, this crown DC'd at the very end because he was doing a lot of like, because you know how like when people disconnect, there's like that very long pause 
or that uh that happens you know yeah that happened and he was doing a lot of like cpu stuff you'll see it in a, in a moment but yeah uh good god Nin the ninjala event was just complete uh, a disaster it was just uh man there, there was a lot of memes that that circulated on twitter that i saw it was like uh you know the office meme where it's like the the main guy i can't remember his name off the top of my head with long hair and he's like shaking his ha shaking the hand of someone and he looks all like like uh what's going on ish and yeah, there was one where it's like the ninjala uh twitter account uh, thanking everyone for playing the game and it's like me who didn't even get past the title screen because you know it's funny. Anyways, I know I knew I, I know I gave uh, Ninjala a, a hard time in the video that I made, but it was all in good fun. I don't know what I was thinking with the side B, the side B for days. But yeah, I know I gave gave them a lot of uh, a lot of hard time, but oh, is that it? Nope, can't keep it down. But it was all in good fun, cause uh, you know everybody was experiencing that, you know. I do feel kind of weird, like showing Resident Evil 3 in a, uh, in a, uh, uh, as a kind of postponed kind of thing, because uh, you know everyone was waiting on it. Even Game Explain had trouble. Yeah, it was around here that I thought that he deceived. Uh, just watch him, and you'll see that he he's doing a lot of weird things. Let's see. Yeah, I was watching Game Explain uh, play, uh, play the game. Uh, while I was waiting for it, it turns out they got the same thing and like a whole crap ton of other people couldn't get in. I don't know, maybe it's because we were recording. They know. They know they don't want people- yeah, see look at that. Wasn't that weird? Let's see. What else was there? Let's see, Ninja. I do plan on doing a couple of uh, a couple of uh, one-shot videos. Like uh, one episode, one episode of uh, you know games and whatnot just because uh you know they're kind of fun plus yeah, i don't have to worry about uh uploading them schedulely weird right there i panicked because i thought i was gonna get like uh crumb sided you know apparently they fixed that like a, a like uh i don't know it was like way after his after this uh g game even released but yeah let's see a couple of one shots. There's gonna be a, a certain video that may or may not be copyright strike because uh because the game itself uses uh music which may or may not be copyrighted. I'm only gonna do one song of it, but but yeah, it's a it's a game that my brother won't shut up about won't shut up about and you know it is actually kind of fun. I don't play it myself, but it is kind of fun when I first uh when I first uh, try it out. And, uh, we're gonna be doing that. I don't know what else I'm gonna do a, uh, one shot of. I know there's, uh, a certain series. People will, are gonna call it the, uh, the Baby Diablo series. And because it is, you know, it's like Baby's first Diablo. You know, like the, the RPG. Diablo, not, not the actual person. Oh, look at this, the thwack. I got hit with the thwack. I didn't actually think he was gonna go for it, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's a, you know, it's an online hero, so, you know, he was going to go for the whack, but I didn't let him. My my arrow has something to say about that. Let's see. Uh, I think that's it, really. All the stuff that I wanted to get out of the, out of the way. So, yeah. Expect a lot of new things in, in the future. Especially when it comes to, like, the horror genre, because, uh, I know that I haven't been doing a lot of that. I did say that I was going to, that I was going to do all the OGs first and then go for like the more newer ones. Oh, look at this! There's no surviving that. Even without the critical, there's no surviving that. Oh no! Please do something. I mashed. I mashed though. Down to my last stock though. Am I gonna make the epic comeback of my life? I sure hope so, cause heroes can be very dangerous. Especially the ones that, that, uh, oh no. Yeah, it's very funny when he, whenever you hit that in the air because, you know, you just kind of, 
We just kind of like, uh, jump, you know? Oh, no. No magic. No MP. You need uh, some magic water. Or, or, what is it, like, single vials? I think they're called. That restore about 10 MP. And then magic water restores around 30. I think so. I might be wrong. But yeah, uh, I will be doing more horror horror RPGs and stuff like that. Oh, Well, we're both down to our last dog, but I'm at a very high percentage. This could go either way. Folks, what's gonna happen? I don't know. I don't know. All we can do... If he held that, then I would have been dead. The side B. But he didn't held it. Oh, he said no. Dang. I don't know why he went for that. He didn't have very many... Uh, MP. But yeah, more horror games, hopefully. Or uh, if I can find some, that is, because uh, I know not a lot, not a lot of them are actually available. Y yes, the epic comeback of the century. Not really, but yeah, it was pretty touch and go for a second. Yeah. If only if if only he held his uh, side B, then that would have been dead for sure, you know? I would've been dead for sure. Let's see... I think that's really much it. More horror games as much as, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Dragon Quest 2, I I really hope I can get to. But I think I'm gonna do the other one, just to... Maybe, I really don't know. I'm gonna have to look up to see how... How, uh... How long it is, and then, uh... And then we'll think... We'll go from there, you know? Because I really, it is something that I've, that I've been meaning to play for a very, very long time, since day one. Because it looks so, so, uh, so interesting, you know? It's like Bayonetta, but, but like, uh, futuristic, kind of. And with all that, um, out of the way, I'm pretty sure you already know what game I'm talking about. But I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna keep quiet about it, just so I can, uh, you know piss off a lot of people. Nah, but uh, let's see. Is that really it? I think that is. Alright. Let's see. I suppose there is nothing else to talk about. This is a pretty long video that I made, so might as well just uh, keep focusing on the on the uh, fights here. Oh, he knew. <laughs> if Roy can act very fast though, out of his uh, attacks for some reason. Oh, he knew. He turned around, did you see that? But nice back air for me. I'm giving myself a medal just because, you know. Just because I did something that uh that got me out of danger. Nice. Am I recording? I really hope I'm recording. I said a lot. Okay, good. 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 That means progress. Man, I can really use some coffee right now. Even though I already drank some this morning. You can never have too much coffee, you know. I mean, technically you can't, but still. That should have been an S smash. I don't know what I was thinking. He, he went low for that. That would have been dead if I didn't side B. My super armor coming into effect finally. Nice. Yeah, this this Roy was very aggressive, so... So, I was... I was trying to be very patient with him. Because... Oh, right there I panicked because I thought I... Because I thought I needed to tech. But yeah, this Roy is very aggressive it was it was a uh, it's very easy to gimp him off stage but for some reason I wasn't I wasn't doing it I guess I just got scared oh he thought he thought it was single hit of Nair into jab this game is very weird I, I always try to uh, do something like that like uh, like instantly go for an attack or shield whenever you land but I can never get it down maybe it's because I'm playing characters that don't do that I really don't know. I don't play any of the popular characters. I say as I play Ridley. But... Let's see. Oh, there we go. I took a little bit of chip damage, but it's okay. I heard it in myself. So I can win. They call me Edgelord uh, High School Student for a reason. After all. Because I hurt, I hurt myself to hurt others or something. I really don't know. Let's see. Well, speaking of, uh, speaking of edgy, I actually thought about uh, doing like a, like a little, 
like a little drawing of a, uh, of a, uh, of a, uh, you know, trying to do like a, like what high or middle school people would do, like when they first disco discover anime and like create something like incredibly edgy. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like emo hair, emo clothes, all that kind of stuff, chains. I don't know. I thought it would be like a little fun, a fun little video, you know, to kind of uh, both make fun of. Uh, everybody when they first discover anime. Unfortunately, I wasn't like that. I, I wasn't really into like the edgy stuff. I was, I was into like a, uh, a lot of martial arts and uh, and uh, <clears throat> like cutesy stuff at the at the time. Cause uh, you know I grew up with with uh, with martial arts, especially with Jackie Chan. Holy crap, Jackie Chan is amazing. Let's see. And the cutesy stuff was just uh, was just because like my life wasn't exactly the best, so having having something like that was a uh, was kind of like uplifting. Jeez, Roy sounds like he's like he's falling down the pits of hell when he whenever he screams. Did you hear that? Probably not. But dang, Roy's scream is just hellish. It's weird. All right, let's see. Looks like we're at a stalemate, but uh, but Roy comes too with the the side beast for days, cause you know that's what every fire emblem goes for. Except for Crumbs, for some reason Crumbs don't go for side beasts as much as they should. It's weird. You know, come to think of it, uh, what else? What else is there in the in the Nintendo world? There's a lot of stuff that, that that's being anticipated, but not a lot of people are talking about it. Like Animal Crossing, everybody's talking about that, even though it's like, even though it's like already out and whatnot. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's see. <clears throat> I do have Animal Crossing. I made like a little one shot of it. Maybe some, maybe someday in the future we'll do like a little series of it. But right now, no. Hold that if smash. Cause this this uh this uh this Roy isn't exactly defensive like at all. So free damage everywhere. Kind of. Good thing side B has like a startup to it. Otherwise I would have gotten hit by the counter. Why does that happen? Like sometimes when you up B into stage you don't grab it. Instead you just go past it. It's very weird. I know if you do it too much then you'll stop grabbing it but but uh but Roy just barely got out of got yeah like Roy just barely got got back in so why you know I don't know I don't know let's see if tilt will do it and that was the tipper if tilt too so of course it's gonna kill if it was just normal it would would send them pretty far, but it wouldn't kill them. Oh, playing a Greninja player, huh? Don't see very many Greninja uh, Greninjas nowadays. Greninja is actually very fun, fun, but uh, I just can't get used to him yet. Even though we already did like a little video of him, he was secretly my main. Yeah, that Greninja video actually uh, actually went pretty well. Oh, he knew. He knew to let go. It's a good thing Greninja like stops in the air just a little bit when uh when uh he releases it. So yeah. I don't know why I, why I wasn't deflecting these shurikens. They're very predictable uh, not predictable but like like he was holding them all the time. So it was pretty safe to deflect them, so why not? Yeah right there. Uh you can see me like not knowing what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do against this Greninja. He's too low to the ground, so arrows won't hit him. They will, but you know. Hey, speaking of arrows. Me spamming for days. Spam the arrows for days. I saw this cool looking combo that I saw. It was like... It was the combo that I know... Oh, where am I going? But it was like... Uh, the thing that I normally do, you know? The down throw to... Down air to... Uh, to Nair. But I saw one where the, like it's on a platform and they down tilt afterwards and then they continue the combo from there. 
the same uh, same thing except for like you know they continue it using the down tilt on platforms. Oh, he knew. He knew I was go I was uh, evasive. Catching the what's it called the shadow sneak. Unfortunately, shadow sneak doesn't exactly have a uh, invincibility after it. Unlike uh, what is it, Palutena or or uh, Zelda. I don't I don't know if uh, Mewtwo has invincibility whenever he does his teleport. Does he? I don't know. He might not. I know Zelda has slight invincibility on it, like at the very uh, beginning of. Or at the very end of, of a teleport, and then she goes into stumble, you know, or you know whatever the you can't do anything afterwards once you upbe and stuff. Nice, get some chip damage in there. Or he's starting to go for like the normal ones. I need to, I need to. Oh, now I'm doing it. Now I'm doing it. That was meant to be a grab, but I panicked and jabbed. Ooh, I almost went to space again. See that? It's good ninja though. I really need to like uh learn how to how to extend my hops, you know? Because they're short hopping, which is something that I'm used to, but it's so easy to actually do them in Ultimate, unlike in uh Smash 4. So sometimes whenever I try going for like a for like a nair, I'll uh I'll uh short hop instead of like make like a full jump I need to get used to it I require stuff oh man my throat's getting dry this is a long video uh. Uh. there we go esophagus is now wet yeah I couldn't do anything against this Greninja huh that was an early uh, down air I don't know what I was thinking I need to. <clears throat> I need to wait more, like when when people go off stage, because there I think he I think he had a uh, he thought he had a jump, so so he didn't do anything until it was too late. I get that way, but Pit has like multiple jumps, so I don't lose the, lose them as easily. Besides, I started doing this thing where like uh, I don't jump until I need to, you know, instead of just uh, trying to get out of a combo. Which is something that I see a lot of people do also, is uh, use their jumps to get out of combos. And they're off, and they're on stage too, like uh, like they're being air comboed in the air, so they double jump in order to... Uh, it should have been up air, I don't know what I was thinking. So they up air, uh, or double jump in order to get out of it, and that's how they lo end up losing their jumps. Oh, right there. You see me hold them for like a little bit? I actually didn't know what to do because I didn't want to steal my my uh, my uh, forward throw because you know forward throw kills, but it doesn't really matter because uh, Greninja because Greninja's uh, you know he won. Finding a cloud player now, a B master for days. Reminds me, did anybody try out the new uh, Final Fantasy remake? Because I know a lot of people like it, and uh, and uh, the guy I watch uh, played it, and he, it looks very, very uh, interesting. Like, like I thought it would be like another button masher, like uh, 15, but it looks like there's a lot more to it than I thought. Didn't once anticipated. Like, there's forms, there's dodges, there's counters. Oh, that stuff. But I don't know. I've not, I haven't actually tried it myself, so I wouldn't know. I kind of want to, though, because, like, you know, he played it and whatnot. But still. Yeah. I need to play the original Final Fantasy. If you don't know, I actually like uh, turn-based ra rather than, you know, free... Uh, free roam battles. I mean, they're not bad. Uh, they're not really bad. I just really don't like button mashing, you know? It puts me to sleep. Like, uh, I was playing, what is it, Dragon Age? Because it was free on PS4 at one point. And I, I, I kid you not, I fell asleep playing it. Uh, like, the game was still going on. I woke up, the game was still, was still on. Apparently I died, I think. 
I can't remember, but yeah. I I just straight up fell asleep playing it. Hmm. I need to utilize my uh, attacks out of shield more. Because that's like... I don't know why I didn't just keep going back, because that was... Because uh, uh, otherwise I would have been punished for it. And he kind of did, but he but I shielded just in time. He reminds me, I need to utilize, uh... What is it? I don't know why he turned it around. But, uh... Yeah, I need to utilize, uh... Like, the... The... What's it called? It's, uh... The, the standing dodge? What is that thing called? Sta... Uh... Man, what is it called again? Like, when you dodge in place? I can't... Sidestep! I need to... I need to utilize my sidestep side step more, because uh, I noticed I kept getting hit by a lot of by a lot of uh, uh, like obvious attack obvious attacks. There's a B in there. Did you know that? In obvious? Because I didn't. Nah. But yeah, I need to utilize it. I need to utilize it a lot more if I need to if I want to uh, improve. Because holy crap. Uh, during my my other playthroughs with like Mewtwo and Ridley, like I kept, I just kept getting hit out of, even though I was getting, sh even though I was shielding, you know, a lot of attacks have shield poke in this game. Or maybe it's because my shield was like getting smaller. I, I, I don't know. Smash is weird, like that. Nice, but nothing happened. Was that the sour spot? That 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 didn't look like the sour spot. Otherwise, he would have been flung upwards, and then I would have uh, continued my combos, my combos into the combo and into the other combo. Like right there, I need to, I need to wait more for when uh, people uh, recover, cause I get, it's scary to go up stage, you know. So I get, I like panic. I don't know what I was thinking there. I guess I was just panicking because uh, he has limit. I don't know. That was weird. You never do neutral B with Cloud. Nah. If they're holding ledge, then that thing actually uh, hits below stage, so you can actually catch people. Uh, uh, ledge hogging, I think it's called. Man, this song is so pretty. But, you know, too bad it's in a game that, like, nobody wants to play. It's not bad, but it's. Certainly not good, story-wise. Especially, you know. Good God, I it, that reminds me. I never finished uh, birth. What is it, birthright? The Fire Emblem birthright. I never actually finished it because, like, uh, if you mess up at the final battle, there's like what three stages to it. There's probably just two. I'm not. I don't know. I'm. I'm just exaggerating. Anyways, yeah, never actually finished Birthright because, like, because I was playing on uh, hard mode, yeah. So every every little uh, movement counts, you know. And uh, so if you mess up even once, your unit is dead, like straight up dead. It's it's never coming back, you know. If and uh, if you if you mess up. Even your the main, if the main character dies, that's that's it. You're you can still continue if a unit dies, but if the main but if the main guy dies, uh, then that's pretty much it. And you know it's hard mode, so it's going to it's gonna go bad, you know. So what am I trying to say for this for all all of this? That if you if you die, you start all the way over, and you have to do all the stages again. Which means you have to get to the king, and then uh, fight the king, and then uh, do the second version, and then do the old. Oh. Nice edge guard. Do you have to do a, a crap ton of other stuff? That you, and uh, uh, and my matches in Fire Emblem can go for hours too, so I just straight up rage quitted, and I never finished it. I remember I had a lot of trouble in Fire Emblem Awakening, uh, 
Fire Emblem Awakening the uh, hard mode. I found out that in... what is it? Echoes? I think? Fire Emblem Echoes? Which one's the one with the... the one that doesn't look like Fire Emblem? It's like the very last one on 3DS. But yeah, that one uh, is actually a lot easier on hard mode, weirdly enough. Nice. I might go back to uh, Fire Emblem Echoes. It's not bad, but it just doesn't really feel like Fire Emblem, to be honest. I'm gonna say it again, by the way. I really wish I can do uh, Kid Icarus for for the channel, because I really like Kid Icarus Uprising. It's super good. Gameplay-wise, it's not, but like, you know, it's mostly because of the dialogue. It's very funny and witty. Not to mention clever. I've noticed that this this cloud has an upbeat once by the way. He's uh he's breaking the the cloud stereotype of uppies. But I think that's uh that's pretty much it for this uh for this video. So without further dudes, I'll leave you to the rest of this. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. You're making me look bad, me. Come on, finish the fight already. Nice.